Hey everybody. I haven't been on here and giving you guys updates because I just, there's so much pain. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna try it this time. I just got a message from a good friend, our bakery, our pastor Vasily that we've been supporting. He's been supporting thousands of people and giving them bread. Well, his house burned down, burned down this night, but they're safe and they're not giving up. They're moving forward to bake bread and to glorify God and to be hands and feet of Christ. So thank you guys for supporting us. I've been to Lviv a couple times now and heading back again. And I got a chance to visit the train station. It's the most heartbreaking place I've ever seen. It was like in the movies. They told us there's about 60,000 people that go through it in 24 hours. It's chaos. We went to look and see if we could help the medics. And when we found this woman, Natalie, I just told her that I'm part of the team that's American doctors and we want to help any way she, we can. She didn't say a word, she just hugged me and cried. <laughs> she said it's a, it's, it's a disaster. And at night, it's apocalypse. So thank you so much, everybody that's been supporting us, that's been part of this. We couldn't do this without you. And keep doing it. Samaritan Purse is officially is in Lviv, and we're trying to help people. We got a clinic or a hospital set up in two places. If you're interested, go on their website or contact Samaritan Purse to come and help us. We need all the help we can get. God bless you all, and keep praying and supporting any way you can. Thank you. God bless.